So I was reading through some of the emails that I got the other day and I came across a really interesting question uh, from a guy named Mark in Auckland, New Zealand. And Mark asked, uh, so it's been uh, about two weeks since my ex-girlfriend broke up with me and needless to say, I'm pretty torn up about it. We were still friends on Facebook up until yesterday when I noticed that she had disappeared. Now I thought she, she might have deleted her profile or something, but after a bit more poking around, I found out that she actually blocked me and I miss her so much and I really want her back. So Brad, please help me, what should I do? Hi there, Mark. Um, that's a really good question you have for me. Um, and I'm gonna, to be honest, it's a really difficult question for me to answer. A lot of what you choose to do next is gonna depend on the nature of your relationship with your ex and, and the reasons why you two broke up in the first place. So if your ex did block you on Facebook, it means that not only does your ex not wanna to talk to you, but that they may also be worried that you might you know, invade their private life. Now, I'll be the first to admit that this isn't a good sign, um, but you should never get too worked up about this. Um, and there's a, a few good reasons for that. For one, if your ex blocked you for, for no good reason, it's possible that he or she would be open to unblock you in the future, right? Um, a lot of my clients think that they'll never talk to their exes ever again, um, and they tend to overreact in situations such as this. But, but I can tell you safely that, that overreacting is not gonna help you get your ex back. And number two, it's also possible that the reason your ex is blocking you is because maybe they're struggling with the breakup themselves. And you know, seeing, seeing you post on social media every day is just gonna make it more difficult for him or her to get over you and to move on. So that's another reason not to overreact to the situation because it's probably a good sign. And finally, um, if they block you on Facebook or social media, it doesn't mean they're necessarily never open to, to receiving or not open to receiving phone calls and messages from you in the future. It, it may simply mean that they just don't wanna see you on, on social media right now or, or be reminded of you. Now, unfortunately, at this point, I do have to talk a little bit about some bad news. Um, if your ex blocked you for, for a good reason, then trying to get back together with him or her, it may be more trouble than it's worth. For example, if you, if you went through a bad breakup with your ex or, or infidelity was a huge issue in your relationship, then it is quite possible that your ex might be so angry that, that they don't want to talk to you right now, right? Um, this is obviously really quite common and I see examples of situations like this every day. And if your ex blocks you after an extremely emotional and abusive or, or violent, you know, angry breakup, it, it's a good idea to definitely keep your distance for, for an extended period of time and do your best to start moving on. In fact, you know, regardless of why you think your ex blocked you, just never ever make it into a big deal. You know, don't call or text your ex, ex asking them why they did it. Um, don't pester them. And, and also don't try to ask, you know, mutual friends or your ex's friends um, why they did block you. In fact, you know, you shouldn't even acknowledge to anyone that your ex has blocked you. The best thing you can do right now is just to, to accept the fact that communication with your ex is not an option and to engage in a period of, of extended no contact. And, and this is basically exactly the, the advice that I gave to Mark in my reply to his email. Now, I will be working with Mark on a one-on-one -on -one basis because he has signed up for my, my online personal coaching program. And if you're interested in signing up to my coaching program like Mark did, just go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching. And, and there you'll find some information about how my online coaching program works and whether it's right for you. And if you're, if you're dead set on reopening the lines of communication with your ex, um, you're gonna have to wait a substantial amount of time before you try to reconnect. Now, now how much time you need to wait depends on the specifics of your, your situation, but attempting to communicate with your ex within a month of him or her you know, blocking you should just be completely out of the question. After that, that time period has passed, you're gonna wanna, wanna set up a line of communication naturally. So you know, obviously that means no stalking or, or following him or her. And you know, as silly as that sounds, um, you'd be surprised at how often I have to tell people not to stalk their exes. The best way to reestablish communication is by setting up a, a hangout with a few of your, your mutual friends. So for example, you, know, you could plan a night out with a bunch of friends that, that you and your ex shared, um, and you can ask those mutual friends just to you know, casually invite your ex, um, just so you can see how he or she's doing. Um, and in this kind of situation, your ex is just gonna be much more likely to, to come out and see you um, if you're with a bunch of friends um, that are also their friends, your ex's friends. And once you do see your ex in this kind of situation, don't make a big deal of it at all. Your only goal at this point is just to have fun and to, to re-engage in a casual conversation with your ex. So you know, don't make things awkward um, and definitely do not cause any unnecessary drama. Remember at this point, you know, your ex is probably dreading talking to you for, for m m multiple reasons um, and you have to do whatever you can not to intensify those feelings. So, you know, take things slow. Remember to be upbeat, positive and, and friendly. 
Now, if you're feeling as if you know, he or she is still being super awkward with you, then, then take a hint and you know, back off a little bit. You don't want to make your ex feel, feel regret for coming out. Um, but on the other hand, if your ex does seem open to chatting, then you can casually engage in, in small talk. You know, questions like, uh, how's your summer been? Or how's work treating you? Those are the, are the good kind of ways to start a conversation. And remember, your goal is just to be, to be friendly with your ex and to, to have a good time, and that's it. Now, at the end of the night, um, tell your ex that it was nice to see them, you know, that kind of thing, and, and, and remind them that they should you know, text you sometime, just, just as friends. Now, don't be, don't be pushy or brash or rude, but then let your ex come back to you. So the more aggressive you are with your ex, um, the more it's just going to reaffirm their original decision to block you on social media in the first place. Now, um, before I wrap up this, this video, um, you need to know that if your ex blocks you in any way, it just isn't the end of the world. So do your best to, to fight the urge to lash out and contact him or her, um, and also fight the temptation to get angry at yourself or, or at the situation. Just keep in mind that this, this does happen all the time, um, and I have, I've helped men and women from around the world get out of those situations. And if you want my help, um, again, head over to breakupbrad.com slash coaching, and uh, you can hire me on that page there as your personal relationship coach, and we'll work one-on-one -on -one going forward. And thanks to everybody who, who's watched this video and all my other videos on YouTube. Um, I, I really appreciate it. Um, and please go ahead and, and take the time to quickly you know, click that like button below the video. It really helps me out, and I appreciate all the support. Thanks very much. Talk to you guys soon.